Hey guys, before I start, I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is that I've got an awesome t-shirt and that it's available on Spreadshirt.com. I have a new shop and uh, so yeah, I've been wanting to do this for a while and if you guys want to help me out as a content creator on YouTube, feel free to go there and, and buy some you know t-shirts or stuff that you like. Now, I will be uploading some funny designs that aren't just related to my channel quite soon. But that's where the bad news comes in, uh, because of Ideal Toys that put a copyright on everything that looks like a Rubik's Cube, I, well, all my designs were rejected. So, uh, I'm gonna have to, you know, contact them and try to get this sorted out. Uh, in the meantime, you can still see those designs and, uh, well, I've got some more, like, a uh, phone case and stuff, and it's, it's pretty fun. So, so yeah, uh, that, that was the bad news. Now, I'm gonna move on to the important part of the video. I've got a brand new 3D printed puzzle and it's been a while so that's really cool and it is the Constellation. Now this puzzle is very peculiar. If you look at it closely, you get some deep cut edge turns of the dodecahedron. Now let's just assume that this isn't a very simple puzzle. If you had only deep cuts it would look like a starmings because you've got that cut right here and it would make a star on each face if there were only edge turns. Now, you also have another type of turning, and that is the corner turn, a deep corner turn. If you only had those, your puzzle would also look like a Starmings, because you get these cuts here. And uh, so this is the Starmings 3, it was created in 2008, I think, and this is the Starmings 2 created around that time as well by Andrew Cormier. Now, I've decided to take parts of one Starmings, right here, right there, right there. Basically there are six faces or six axes that turn like this and there are eight axes that turn like that Starmings. Now why is it called the constellation? Well simply put it's the cross between multiple Starmingses and you know multiple stars, constellations, stuff like that. So I figured I'd call it the constellation. Uh, so yeah there's those Starmings cuts and those. Um, now something you may be wondering, there's not just half turns here, right? You can also do quarter turns and get some shape shifting. Like if I turn it here now, you can see that it's not the same shape as before, but it still turns. Uh, well, simply put, what this puzzle is, technically, is a face turning octahedron. This is just a simple face turning octahedron, and it's crossed with this, these types of turns that are, well, equivalent to corner turning octahedra. And the thing is, these are supposed to be trivial because they don't cross each other. So this is just a cross FTO, and except it's not the faces that are crossed, it's the corners. So this is what it looks like, and I think the appearance is really fun. It's really nice, very simple, and I like that. Um, I don't usually make simple puzzles. I've already said this in one of my videos. And this is one of those, and I think it looks very nice. Um, I don't know what you think of it, but yeah. This, these are my thoughts. And uh, so yeah, this... I think it can become confusing. I will scramble it for you guys. Uh, I just wanted to see if there was anything more or anything left to say about this. And I can't even find where I was. Okay, I was here. So... Let me try to get this back into its original shape. Not even sure of what I'm doing right now. Uh, wow. It's more confusing than I thought. I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, definitely more confusing than I thought. Um, yeah, this is it. So this is what it looks like. So that's the soft position. By the way, something before I start to scramble this. Uh, you might have noticed that the faces aren't all the same around the white face. And that means there's multiple ways to sticker this. And uh, this is another one. Because I have multiple ones. And uh, so there's the first one where you got these that are symmetrical around a corner. And this one where they're basically uh, symmetrical around the edges. So you got t these two, these two, these two here really depends. So it, you can sticker it as m just like you want it, but uh, there's multiple variants. I think there's over 620 ways to solve this. Um, now that's something I should probably talk about. Uh, the reason why I'm saying that there are multiple ways to solve this is that if I do this, for example, I can always put this piece here and then try to solve it differently. And the thing is, every face is interchangeable, but 
these two uh, stickers here, they're always linked, which means if you sticker it in one certain way, two faces are always linked, but as you can see, this part is just free of those two, which means that these two faces are always going to be the same, these two as well, these two as well. So if you start with that, you've got 10 possibilities for this, so this or this, then you've got, you can always put the blue right here or reversed. So you've got 10 possibilities for the first pair, 8 for the second, 6 for the next one. So there are 10 times 8 times 6 times 4 times 2 solving possibilities. So a lot of ways you can solve this. But I wouldn't say it's trivial. I guess we'll see when I make a solving video because I will. In the meantime, let's scramble this and that will be all for me. Um, Let's see what it can look like when it's fully scrambled. This is a fun puzzle and it's quite smooth to be honest. Um, there's uh, still some catching because I haven't broken it in yet. Uh, but it's, it's still fun to play with. Um, hmm. But then again I'm used to 3D printed puzzles so maybe that's why I'm seeing that. Uh, I still got some residue powder falling off. Uh, this is getting confusing now. Uh, Alright, so now we're reaching states where Solving it isn't as trivial as I thought it would be. Uh, nevertheless, it's not a gigantic shapeshifter. It's not like the parts are scrambling into incomprehensible shapes, uh, unlike the my next puzzle, which I almost spoiled. Uh, I already filmed the video for the next one, which is why um, I, I, I was going to talk about it, but I probably shouldn't. Uh, wow. Okay, so this is fully scrambled. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's not as complex as I thought it would look like, uh, but you've still got some pointy shapes sticking out and stuff like that. So yeah, I will make a solving video quite soon. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. And feel free to subscribe and share this with your friends. It really helps. All my links are in the description below. And I will see you in the next video.